What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are back again with the Hennessy Venom GT. Alright you guys, so the Hennessy Venom GT, last time I put in a 2400 motor in here, or 2600 motor in here, brushless motor ESC and I unfortunately did not have the GNSS charged to see how fast it would go. But we're back with this again. There are a couple upgrades that I did to this and I want to show you guys what I did. Let's open her up. So the first thing I did as I took off the body, I just added a clip on here because I'm going to have the headlights finally working on this. And more than likely, the taillights are also going to be working. So let's move in a little bit closer so I can show you guys what exactly is going on with this guy. Alright you guys, and here it is, the new setup that I'm going to be using for the Hennessy Venom. So. What I wound up doing was I got rid of the rear end that was in here that had the motor facing this way or this way, I don't remember, but I got rid of that and I ended up reusing this 110 scale all-road chassis that I wasn't really using for anything. So I decided let me throw it in here and see how this is going to work and luckily I was able to get the chassis on here. The chassis is completely fixed. As you guys can see, I'll show you guys right under here. So there's, it's screwed on in here, screwed on here in the front. I put some extra screws around just to hold that chassis in place. Um, so hopefully this thing will end up running pretty dang good. Now, my goal for this was to hit the 80 miles an hour as it was toy grade, but I don't think it was going to do it just for the main fact that this thing does not have and did not have any suspension at all. Like the front is completely fixed, uh, the rear was completely fixed, no suspension. So I just decided, you know what, let me use this chassis because now I'll at least have rear suspension as you guys can see right back here. There is rear suspension on there now. and. I think it's going to work out a little bit better than it did before. Unfortunately, the front, I'm not going to be able to put the front suspension on here because the steering is all integrated into the chassis, which is unfortunate. I wound up going onto Amazon and I got a brushless system. So this is a Goop RC. 60 amp brushless ESC that's good for 3S. Uh, it's good for 2S, 3S. I'm going to be using a 3S on here because I want to get this Hennessy to reach that 80 miles an hour. Paired with that came a 4800 kV brushless motor, as you guys should be able to see right there. It's a 4800 kV brushless motor. Um, I'm still using. I'm using the stock 27 turn, 27 tooth uh, pinion that came on here. The spur gear, I don't know how many teeth this is, but I'm going to wind up finding out and I will put it in the description. Looks like it's 48 teeth from what it looks to say like right in there. I think it's 48 teeth that's in there it says. So I'm going to say 48 teeth probably wrong but yeah so it says 48 on it so that's a 48 tooth spur gear uh, 27 tooth pinion gear um, if need be I might end up changing that to a bigger pinion gear I don't want to overdo it because I don't want to burn anything out and I don't want to overwork the motor so I think this setup that is here now is going to work to get to that 80 miles an hour. Yes, I understand. The goal was to do it in completely stock form with just upgrading the with just upgrading the motor and 
gearing, but unfortunately the gearing that was in the rear end here, it was very, very, very hard for me to find a pinion gear that would match the spur gear, differential gear, I guess you would say that was in the rear end of the stock rear end of this thing. So I decided the only way that I'm gonna be able to make the Hennessy get to the 80 miles an hour is by completely ditching that rear end and doing this. Uh, I also wanna say thank you to, I forget his name, but I'll put your name in here on screen somewhere. I wanna say thank you to him. He's the one that actually gave me this idea He's the one that actually gave me this idea. Uh, he actually said to use a Traxxas slash rear end uh, because of the suspension. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a Traxxas slash cheap enough to where I would be able to just hack it and put it in here. I figured I have this chassis, why not reuse it for something that I'm doing instead of just having the chassis just sitting here not doing anything. Now, I have not tested any of this yet. I haven't tested any of it, but that's, I'm just mocking everything up, putting everything in here to see how this is going to do, because I am very, I am very, very intrigued on how this is going to do. Um, the other thing, there is another thing that I wound up doing. So, uh, I had some tires here that what I wound up doing was, I these are the stock tires that came on this chassis. So I took the stock tires off and I threw these on. So, I mean, luckily they're small. Um, they're not per se wide enough to fit over the stock rims of these things. I just stretched them on and they don't look too bad. They are not rubbing full turn. They're not rubbing on anything, which is awesome. Uh, the other thing that I did do was in the rear, I got these tires. I got these tires and some 20 millimeter, here we go, some 20 millimeter extensions. So the rear end will fit on here perfectly. So tires are moving freely I'm just really excited to see how this thing is going to do I I want to fire it up and check it out and see maybe we should let's uh let's do that let's fire it up and see how this is going to do so let me finish tidying all this up I'm going to throw a battery in here take it outside and see how it's going to do all right you guys so I am totally totally excited to get that little guy to run um this is just going to be a test run i am not going to give it the full beans first of all my battery is not fully charged i'm only running it on a 2f right now just to see how this thing is going to react so there's a whole bunch of birds just flying around i hope you guys can see that all those birds right there look at this look at all those birds look so many birds wow that's a lot of birds. So anyway, so I'm not going to give it the full beans. I am just going to see how this thing is going to react for the time being right now. Um, I do have the body mounted on the front is by magnet and on the rear. I just have two screws, but I want to change it. Probably going to put magnets also on the rear just because it's going to be easier to take the body off and everything. So right now, um, I have, right now, I just have the on-off switch right here coming out the side. Let's see how this thing does.
All right, so again, <laughs> I'm just very excited to get this thing going. Um, it does seem like it's a lot faster. Now, I still have to glue the tires on the wheels as you guys just saw, but I just want to test it out and see how this thing does. Uh, the steering, the servo, I might have to switch the servo out because this servo is junk. So, and it's definitely not going to help me on the speed run because uh, as you guys see, this thing's all over the road. So let's try this out again. Now this tire came off. All right, guys, so I definitely call that a win. I definitely call that a win because it's doing what I want it to do. Uh, as you guys can hear, it is a lot quieter than it used to be. So I think we got a winner here. <laughs> I think we got a winner and I'm really excited to get this thing really running. So I'm going to end the video here next one is going to be of this guy hopefully and i do mean hopefully hitting those 80 miles an hour that i wanted to so i think with the setup that we have here now we should be good so with that being said everybody don't forget hit that like button subscribe i will see you guys on another video you all have a good one keep our seeing.